Although Bouguereau spent most of his life in Paris, he returned to La Rochelle again and again throughout his professional life. He was revered in the town of his birth and undertook to decorate commissions from local citizens from the early 1870s. He and his family spent every summer in La Rochelle. In 1882, he decided that rather than rent, he would purchase a house as well as local farm buildings. By August of that year, the family's permanent summer base was on the Rue Verdière. The artist commenced several paintings here and completed them in his Paris studio. Bouguereau had many guests and onlookers in his studio while he worked as they would observe and watch. Artist James Beckwith would be among the visitors and he recorded his observations of Bouguereau at work and the lively environment. Young mothers would be invited with their infants so the artist could observe and study their movements and put it all to paper and later to canvas. Often exquisite drawings might lay on the floor while the young one crawled over them. Bouguereau was a salon favorite. His paintings drew crowds at each year's opening gala. Throughout the course of his lifetime, he is known to have painted at least 800 paintings. Near the end of his life, he described his love of his art. Each day I go to my studio full of joy. In the evening, when obliged to stop because of darkness, I can scarcely wait for the next morning to come. If I cannot give myself to my dear painting, I am miserable. In addition to his own work, Bouguereau was closely associated with the Académie Julian in Paris from the 1860s, where he gave lessons to art students, both male and female, from around the world, and was a favorite of American pupils. For several decades, he taught drawing and painting to hundreds, if not thousands, of students. Many of them managed to establish successful careers as painters in their own countries. Edgar Degas stated that he sought to produce art that is substantial enough but could never equal the level of refinement and accomplishment of Bouguereau. His was a life dedicated to hard work and the highest standards that will surely live on in the annals of art history. Bouguereau. In painting, I am an idealist. I see only the beautiful in art, and for me, art is the beautiful. 